Hello, you bunch of tankers. Welcome to some more World of Tanks console in the Tier 5 Panzer 4H. I've got two games for you today. Uh, this is the third mark. I have been, you know, I had a bit of a break. I've come back to tanks and I've been playing the mid tiers just to try and remember some things and try and actually get properly good at this game. It's not working, let me tell you that, but I am having a lot of fun. And the 4H. I am using the 75mm, I know the Derp Society won't be happy about this. When I originally ground it through and got my first mark, um, I did use the 105 because Derp, and it's fun. But during the third mark and since 6.0, I don't know, it just it, it wasn't playing ball with me. So I switched to the 75 for a couple of games and it just worked. So I stuck with that. Now before we go on, I'll tell you about my commander and my equipment. This is my Leopard 1 commander, so I'm running Sixth Sense, Born Leader, Rapid loading, situational awareness, camouflage expertise, steady aim, track mechanic, muffled shot, and snapshot as well. Um, equipment wise, on this I'm actually running optics, rammer, and vent. You could probably drop the vents if you wanted for the new speed equipment. I believe it's traction system, the one that gives you the 5% engine power, because that's the only thing with the 48. It's a little bit sluggish. Well, that's not the only thing that's wrong with it, but, you know, it is a little bit sluggish and that would help you out just just that little bit. But I, I went through with the vents, you know, to up everything else. Um, optics, obviously, to increase my view range. A good friend of mine, a very good player, uh, who has now stopped playing the game, once said to me, marking tanks is all about view range as much as it is damage. And I can see what he's going with. His mentality is, if you're able to spot things out and get that assisted damage... You know, if you're not having the greatest game, that assistance is there ticking over, almost like banking it in the background. Uh, obviously, I know track damage and spot damage will split, and whichever one is the highest is the one it will apply. But if you don't do any track damage and it's solely on assist, it can help you out big time. So this first game, we're out on El Holof. Like I say, we are using the 75mm, and we've managed to push up to the A1, A2 area completely uncontested. There's only a couple of tanks around here, so what I'm going to do is try and flank around this area, not expose myself too much on the right in case anything's coming up with traffic, uh, but what I want to do here is, uh, if I don't get pushed by this 301P, I want to just get as many shots in as I can. We got a nice fire on a 3601, and that puts us in with a decent amount of damage. We needed a thousand combined per game for the third mark to move up on this. Now, this was my fastest ever three mark. I did this in 96 games. So, yes, it's a low tier tank, you know, it's a tier five, but I also felt very proud of myself for doing it in that time. It almost felt like I've actually have improved. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make the video, to be honest. I mean, now, without the CC status and all that stuff, it's actually quite nice that I just make the videos to enjoy them. And, and that is something I do quite like. It is nice to see the views coming out, but I know that most of you guys viewing it now are the hardcore following that have always been there. And it's nice because uh, you're the guys that I can chat to so much. That's, that's, that is why I decided I am, yes, officially going to start making videos again. Not a lot, you know, we're not getting the two, three a week that we used to have. I'll probably just do two a month and see how we feel. But I am going to be making videos again. I will, at some point, get back to doing tutorials and reviews. Obviously, it's not all going to be up-to-date content. It's not all going to be relevant. That is where you want your decent people like Petty, etc. They're knocking out that relevant stuff, the new tank reviews and stuff like that. I'm just going to trickle along and... Do what I feel like doing, and if I've had a decent game, I'll put it up. If I can think of a decent tutorial, if I have a game that has a piece of, I think, a good tip, good, good piece of information, I'll put it up. Now, we needed a 1,000 combined for this. We are just shy of 2k raw damage, and we got 406 assist. Granted, I don't need that assist in the bank, but like I was saying, it's just one of them where if it's there, you know, for example, if I only did like 900 damage, having that 400 assist in the bank means it's ticked me over and it, it does help. And that's what we're saying about view range is very, very helpful when marking tanks. Please excuse my aim on my tanks. It has got significantly worse than it ever used to be. But I just want that last bit. I want to tip it over 2,000 before we finish the game. And there we go. We're now over 2K. I'm happy, but we're going to go for the kill shot because I was infuriated with how much I was missing. But we end out 
on a pretty nice amount there. 2,107 raw damage, 406 assist in a tier 5 with 480 hit points. I feel that was a pretty nice game, to be honest with you. And it did put the damage standing up quite a bit. Like I say, I know this is a tier 5. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. They don't really play down there. But I really do quite like the tier 5 and 6 tanks. The historical... They all feel fairly balanced. Obviously, the Rampanzer and Catch of KV1 certain premiums, not so much in terms of balance. But, you know, these historical tanks, they're all nice to play, and they're just a bit of fun. It's a bit of a laugh. Isn't it? Now, we're out on Himmelsdorf, and this is the game where we get that third mark. And at this point, I'm thinking, I just, I, I really need to get that damage out as soon as I can. Now, one thing I do do in Himmelsdorf, if I'm in something small and nimble, I will push down the centre, pop that food, and try and spot things out. It's really good when there's artillery in the game and you can spot them out so soon. It is, it's very, very, very yummy for that because you get early shots on that arty. It's brilliant. So we've just sort of pushed forward to here, a bit of a... Uh, somewhere I used to come to a lot when I was new to the game, actually. Just to try and get shots. I used to go like where that comet is now. I used to go to places like that. Now I know the hill really is... is the most viable option but in this i thought with the speed of this tank and i am bottom tier going up the hills pretty much death sentence because if the guys that go up to the hill lose that means they're going to come barreling down towards me and i have not got a hope in hell so for me i thought i'm going to play it safe and what i'm going to do is push to the center and see how the battle develops so my thinking in this point is i can now look are people going to go left? Are they going to go right? Are people going to go up towards the one line or the zero line? Which flank needs help and which flank is winning? And I can sort of adjust my playstyle accordingly. This isn't an area I would recommend that you come to every single game. It's not, you know, a huge damage area. And it's also not strategically a very good position. You can easily get rushed by light tanks. And artillery can get really, really easy shots on you. It's one of the places in Himmelsdorf where RT can get really easy shots on you. So, it, like I say, it's not somewhere I would recommend going to at all. We take out 3001P, and I've kind of pushed a little bit too far, and I've only got 63 hit points. There's a lot of tanks up here, and, you know, we've still not done enough damage, so I really, really want to be trying to sneak in in and, and get in points where I can. And notice that tank gets a little behind me, so I just pull in here just to slow the tempo, get myself back in control and see what's going on. Now that Boilermaker hasn't moved since being lit. Is he AFK? I don't know. So we just jink out and just fire randomly. He's AFK. So we're going to try and get as many shots into this guy as we possibly can. Yes, the Sherman's front isn't the greatest, but we do manage to bounce. And very fortunately for me, the Boilermaker misses. But whilst I've got him spotted, I'm getting the spot assist for that medium that's gone in on him. I was going to try and move away, but whilst he's distracted, I may as well go in and try and get them last couple of shots in there. Take him out of the game to help our medium and help myself in my selfish way of getting three marks. And now we're on 1215 damage. Just by slowing the pace down, just taking a second to breathe and realising, OK, we don't need to be pushing as much as we do. It's just silly. You're going to get yourself into trouble. And it's just put us over that amount. Again, like I said in the Cromwell uh, third mark video, patience is key. Yes, you need to be getting that damage, but patience is key. Unfortunately, the Lozer Sherman does shoot me in the buttocks, and I do get taken out of the game. But we have done enough to get that third mark. The team comes through with a really nice win. As you can see, the Reds have basically cornered themselves down into this small little area in the uh, southwest of the map and they're always going to lose from that position you know when you're cornered and you give so much map control to the enemy it, it doesn't matter how good you are numbers will win because they can just dpm you absolutely out dpm you so don't get yourself cornered if your whole team goes into a corner you, you're screwed so what i'll do scroll it onto the results and you can see how we did so there we go, the team comes through, we get the win. We are top of the board, unfortunately we did die early. We could have really got a lot more damage out of that game, but we do get our 95.2%, pulling us on that third mark, top of the team, in the little 4H. I hope you like that, guys. If you did, drop me a like. If you didn't, my name's the Randy Duck. Um, subscribe if you want to. Until next time, I'll see you all soon.